This is not financial advice. I just hope you brought your oven mitts. And don't invest in the companies that you don't understand and that you don't believe in. Because if they dip, then you're not going to buy the dip. And then you're going to sell low and be right back here crying to me. And I'm not having that. So if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks, then stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in the index funds. Hit that notification bell. Hit that like button. Let's get straight to the point and subscribe to the channel. First banger on the list. Oh, yeah. We got an update on this one, baby. We got an update on this one. Sometimes you hit the home run, sometimes you knock it out the park. Nah, this was a grand slam. All of the bases was loaded and we knocked this one out the park. Atosa Therapeutics, ticker symbol A-T-O-S. I know you've seen this one going crazy today. If you hit the grand slam with me, we got in this one in the low dollar range. If you hit the grand slam with me or you even hit the home run, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments. And so you can be up on the plays as early as we are, I want you to hit the Patreon link in the top comment to join the Discord. But only come over there if you're ready to add to the community. And hit that Weeble link in the top comment so you can join in on us with the pre-market plays. Now, let's keep it going. First bang on the list again is a Tosa. We knocked this one way out of the park. And people have been asking me, Keenan, is it too late? Is it too late to load up? Did I miss the boat? Did I miss the boat? Let's talk about it. Yesterday, I updated you that they had a study and it was FDA approved for two years for a single patient. And they announced that this patient had no reoccurrence of breast cancer in that time since they were taking the oral treatment, AKA a pill. And today, today, Atosa released even more information on this same patient and on this same FDA approved study and they said this not only did the patient not receive or not have a reoccurrence of breast cancer not only that the treatment had none of the side effects that similar medications give to patients who typically have this same ailment now that's absolutely crazy it's doing the same things as the other pills but with none of the side effects now that's something to keep your eye on so if you're not in this play yet at least put this one on your watch list baby and let's talk about it what does that mean for the company that means potentially this company has a pill that could Number one, reduce the reoccurrences of breast cancer, potentially. Potential is not proof, but potentially. And potentially also has none of the side effects of the competitors. Keep that in mind. Now, two stock analysts rated this one a buy, and they said it's going to between $5 and it's going to $7. Now, I don't want you to run out and go and get this. All this means is this is the price that Wall Street sees it worth. That's the price that Wall Street sees that it's worth. Okay, and I always tell you, if you want to be a billionaire, guess what you got to do? You got to think like one, baby. So let's ask ourselves, what are the big dogs doing, aka the large institutions? What are they doing with their billions of dollars, with their hundreds of millions of dollars? What are they doing? So let's talk about it. According to Fintel.io, three large institutions bought shares of Atosa as recent as January 14th and 15th. That means they got in on that run with us. So now, why is that important? Atosa only has a market cap of like 300 million, so this is still a penny stock, meaning all it would take is a few big dogs to buy in or a lot of retail investors like you and me, then this price would go up. However, you don't wanna count on something like that. You wanna invest into a company because it's a good company. So now, keep in mind, how do we play this one? This one is starting to get really, really high volume. Since AMC and GameStop and all of those things, that's calming down a bit. All of the other retail investors are coming back over here to us. They're coming back over here and getting back into our plays. And I was trying to tell you for the last week or so, load up on these kind of things. Because once all of that hype is down, then these is going to run up. And look what happened. Look what happened. So now, this is a very high risk play. Let's be clear on that. This is a very high risk play. Especially after it ran up. If you didn't get in with us from the top and it ran up now, it's even higher risk than it used to be. Now, how are we going to play this? If you still want to get some skin in the game, remember, you don't got to get some skin in the game. There will always be another play. Keep that in your heart. Keep that in your mind. There will always be another play. But if you still want to get some skin in the game, we're not going to use strike prices on this. we definitely not going to use strike ownership on this. What we're going to do is a strike day. So that means think of a number in your head that you're willing to risk on the play or willing to lose and you won't lose sleep on it. Then you got to put that one third, one third, one third for three days. So let's say you pick 300 in your head. You're willing to lose that on this play to take the risk to run up with it. So then 100 on, 100 on Thursday. Bow. 100 on Friday. Bow. Bow. 100 on Monday or whatever. Bow, bow, bow. And then you ride the wave straight out to the promised land, baby. That's how you play it. That's how you don't get burned. And what you're looking for while you're trying to dollar cost average in is you're trying to find a dip. You're trying to catch the dip. So now, when are you getting out of this one? If, and this is a penny stock still. So I tell you this, and somebody try to argue me up and down, but 
you don't win on the stock market because you arguing and you're not listening. So this is how this works. What you got to do is if you get down, if you buy, let's say you strike, and then all of a sudden it's pulling back, it's crashing 5%, 10%, it's crashing, you got to get out of the play. It's a penny stock. Get out of the play. Let it crash all the way down, 30%, 50%, whatever it was going to do. And then you could consider to get back in on the play low and then slingshot right back up to the promised land, baby. And then now you got to have a proper exit strategy when you in a play like this or else you are going to get burned. And again, there will always be another play. You don't got to jump into this one. But there's another grand slam that we hit. There's another grand slam that we hit. We hit another grand slam with Zometica, ticker symbol Z-O-M. We got in this play back when it was 49 cents. Knocked this one way out the park. We passed a double up. We on a triple up. So now, people want to know again, is this one okay to get in? Let's talk about it because they got something coming out called True Forma. It's a diagnostic product for cats and dogs, and this is expected for March 30th. So there's another catalyst coming up that can enable this to run up even further. Now, again, this is potential, not proof. So do your own research. However, a five-star analyst said this is going to 120, already blew past that. So how are we going to play this one? This is how you play this one. Since it's already ran up, since we already triple up on this, and if you tripled up on this with me or even doubled up, let me know in the comments, baby. I'm trying to celebrate down there with you. So now, this is how you got to play this. The same way that we played the other risky one after it got even way more risky since it already ran up. So, shout out to everybody that hit these grand slams with me. But again, how you play this one? Not strike ownership for sure. Not strike prices. What you got to do is strike days, a.k.a. you're going to put one third of what you're willing to lose on this each day. Let's say it's a hundred. Then one day, pow, hundred dollars. Next day, pow, pow, another hundred dollars. And then after that, last day, pow, 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 you put your next hundred on that and you ride it out the promised land, baby. And then when do you plan on getting out? You gotta have an exit strategy. If it starts to crash down 5%, 10%, then you gotta pull out of this play. Now, I know you shouldn't be buying high and selling low, right? This is a penny stock. You don't wanna let it go all the way down 30%, 50%. These things can crash. These things can crash. So you gotta get out of the play and then consider jumping back in once it's done crashing so then you can slingshot back up. If you got a different strategy, you do it your own way. Now, next one on the list, next banger on the list is DraftKings. And I've been talking about this one even in December, even before that I've been talking about this one. And you had to have gotten in, I was telling you. Some of y'all got this idea in your head where you know what, you've invested into Golden Nugget. I'm invested into Golden Nugget. You invest in the Golden Nugget so you can't invest in the DraftKings? No, I tell you every time, you cannot have this brand loyalty that these companies want you to have. You cannot have this brand loyalty. You can make money with DraftKings, you can make money with Golden Nugget. It all depends. Now, since some of y'all listen, shout out to y'all who got into DraftKings with me. We already way up on that one. But according to Baron.com, on February 2nd, for those of you who don't know, at 7.30 p.m., it was announced that ARK Invest, one of the top performing ETFs of 2020, loaded up on DraftKings in their ARK W Fund. And they now have over 620,000 shares that are worth $33 million. $33 million. Now, that's nuts. And let's keep in mind. According to the Fox 17, West Michigan News, DraftKings recently got the green light to do online betting and online sports betting legally in Michigan. So they just opened up a whole new state. They opened up a whole new state to get in on their revenue stream. Now, that's absolutely crazy. And we got in before that. And guess what? Then ARK Invest got in. So we got in and then we got to run up before ARK Invest blew the price up. And 20 Wall Street analysts rated this one. 14 said it was a buy. Five say it was a hold, one said it was a sell. And since the last 29 days, all of the price targets are between $60 and $100. How do you play this one? Now, we're not gonna use strike ownership on this, however you could if you want, meaning you strike to own as many as 100 to 1,000 shares of this, you could do that, but it's not necessary right now. But we're not gonna do strike days, this one ain't that crazy. But this one, we could do strike price. So if you got $300, remember, scale this up or scale it back to whatever makes sense for you. If you got $300, this is how we're gonna play it. Strike price. So every strike price, I'm putting 100 on it, hypothetically, right? So then, first strike price is between now and $58. I see that? Bow! And then, if it pulls back, if it pulls back to $55, bow, bow! I'm putting my next 100 on that, baby. And then, if it pulls all the way back to $45, and you may never see it hit $45 in your life, 
but you want to be prepared, not surprised. What are the five P's? Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Say it with me again. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. You want to be prepared, not surprised. So if it pulls all the way back to $45, we putting our last hundred on that. Bop, bop, bop. And then we riding this wave straight out to the promised land, baby. And then when are we getting out of this one? When are we getting out of this one? We got to hold on to this one for three to five years. Why is that? The states need more money. The states need more money. All of the pandemic stuff that's been going on, the states are running low and they begging the federal government for money. What does that mean? That means that they need a new way to tax the citizens without directly going into your check. So they are pressured to make a new way of getting tax money and they like to tax casinos like crazy. And that's basically what's going on here, online betting. So now you could be on the lookout for more states to open up online betting in their states so they could tax it like crazy. And let's get to the next banger on the list. Actually, this one is not necessarily a banger on the list. This is a bonus. This is a bonus. And they've been getting a lot of love over on the private discord. So I'm going to just show some love to them here. This don't mean run out and buy this. However, do your own research. Now, it's Sundial Growers, ticker symbol S-N-D-L, if I'm not mistaken. Now, they already ran up 140% this month. That don't mean go chase it. However, what's catching everybody's attention is even after this crazy run, it's been running up like crazy for months now, but even after this crazy run, there are still large institutions that are still loading up to this day. So now, as recently as February 2nd, many large institutions are on file for loading the boat or buying in for the very first time, even after the run up. For example, for example, a few of them have done that. And now that's absolutely crazy, but don't get it twisted. This is a $2 billion company, even though it looked like a penny stock, this is not technically a penny stock. And according to the investor place, US Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer is committed to pushing a marijuana reform bill that could open the United States to companies like Sundial and other competitors. However, again, the United States, they've been talking this stuff for decades now. They've been talking this for a while now, so don't put your hopes up on this. And if you want me to do a deep dive on Sundial Grower or whatever, let me know in the comments. Other than that, let's get to the comment of the day. And again, I shoot these straight through. So if I mess up, hey man, I'm just keeping it real with you. So now, comment of the day is roll to 100 in Neo. I already have 13. And what I want to do for you, bro, I want to salute you on that. Because to some people, they see they got 13 and they think 100 is way too far out. They think it's way too big of a goal. I want you to set very lofty goals. I want you to set goals that you know you could get to that others might not know you could get to because they don't believe in you. You know why? Because this, I want you to always look out to the future. I told you, your doctor told you that 2020 vision is good. But hypothetically speaking, hypothetically speaking, you need 2030 vision, baby. You need 2030 vision. Why? I need you to look out for a decade from now, from two decades from now. So why is that? They say this. If you don't know where you're going to be a decade from now, you don't have a vision, then guess what? You already there. Meaning you ain't gonna move from where you are right now. You ain't gonna progress. So I want you to set a goal. I want you to have strike ownership, like I call it, where you strike to own a specific amount of shares. So everybody let me know how many shares of your favorite stock you have and then what goal you trying to get to. Let me know in the comments. And other than that, hit that Weeble link in the top comments so you can get in a pre-market with us and knock it out the park. And hit the Patreon link to join the community over on Discord. I love y'all. Take care.